Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Very excited to make this video because today is Friday, November the 1st. It's my six year vegan anniversary. So, as a tradition, I usually make a vegan anniversary video and I wanted to talk about my vegan transformation. I wanna talk about how I'm going six years vegan. Has my health deteriorated? Has my physical health deteriorated? Am I feeling like foggy or sick or absolutely not? Just finished the workout, got the white singlet still on and thought I'd do a little bit of training just to show you what physical shape I'm in. Obviously the lighting's pretty good, I've got a good pump on, but this I've been in, I'm in the best physical shape of my life right now, six years vegan. I wanna show you the contrast. This is me in about 2012 while I was on house arrest, obese, depressed. I was taking probably about six or seven types of medication, addicted to drugs and alcohol, eating meat, every morning, bacon, eggs, cheese, omelets, you name it. I was the biggest meat, dairy, and egg eater. Obviously, I was obese because of it, and I had to take drugs and alcohol just to deal with my own physical shape I was in. I had no energy. I was very violent as well. I'm not saying that I was violent because I was eating meat, but it's strange that when I went vegan, my violence has started to dissipate from my consciousness. I'm a much more compassionate human being. I wanna tell you how I got there. So long story short, I was arrested for carrying a firearm in gangs, I had to defend myself. A lot of you know my story. I'm gonna to try to keep this as short as possible. But I was on house arrest, put on house arrest for 18 months, got fat, eating meat, dairy and eggs and all that saturated fat cholesterol. Because I was so obese, I mean, I was 250 pounds, so I was 115 kilograms, clinically morbidly obese. I had enough of how I felt, so I was looking for a diet to lose weight, come across, you know, low carb this, you know, wasn't really into that. Found a raw foodist named Dan McDonald. He was the life regenerator. He wasn't a vegan, he was just promoted this raw food diet. What it did though, is it got me involved with fruits and vegetables, <laughs> so plant foods. Raw foods, I was doing uh, juices and you know, I lost a bunch of weight, but what it did is it gave me this mental clarity eating more fruits and vegetables. I was eating only fruits and vegetables for a while there. Dropped, I'd say 15 kilograms straight away. So that's probably about 30 pounds immediately. And I felt, never felt better in my entire life. So this sort of planted the seed in my mind about, you know, fruits and vegetables being good for weight loss, good for mental clarity, giving me loads of energy. I wasn't a vegan yet, I wasn't a vegan. I kept watching Dan's videos and what it did is that my consciousness started to open up to my more compassionate side. Dan was talking a little bit about karma. When you cause suffering to an animal or you consume that suffering, it manifests as disease in your body. It sort of, I sort of believed in karma. I'd seen it in the gang world. So it planted this another seed of like, oh, I'm eating these animals who'd suffered and it made a lot of sense to me. I actually got uh, six months in prison for my firearm that I was awaiting while I was on house arrest. Went to prison. Predominantly in prison, I was eating fruits and vegetables. As soon as I got out of high security and I could, uh, you know, medium security, I could buy my own food. I was buying, so 90% I was eating raw fruits and vegetables and the other 10% I was still eating chicken breasts and skim milk powder because I was training. I thought, I need protein, need protein. Got out of jail. I was talking to my mum about her smoking addiction. Stop smoking, stop smoking. She said, well, look at yourself sort of thing. You know, there's a lot of vices people have that don't change. I looked at myself and I was like, you know, why don't I go vegan? I know it's wrong to cause suffering to animals. I'm a hypocrite here. Boom. Went full vegan the next day. Fat, well, first I did a little Google search, made sure you could build muscle as a vegan. Seen all the vegan bodybuilders. And I thought, well, this is fine. Since I've been vegan, I've been doing athletic feats on my bike. I was doing, you know, massive 300k uh, bike rides. I, I, I could do a lot. I was boxing, weight training, you know, I didn't have any problems performing athletically. What happened is when I went full-time activist, I started to, you know, stop training. I didn't train for like, I don't know, 18 months, two years nearly. And my health sort of dropped down. I was eating a bit more junk food. About 18 months ago, I started training again, heavy weight training, um, eating predominantly whole foods. I eat probably about 90% of my diet whole foods. Just made a smoothie here. It's got flax seeds, uh, uh, berries, flax for Amigas, and I've got some spinach in there. Mm. A bit of protein powder. Got my B12 spray. So has my health deteriorated? Not at all, I feel better than ever. Vegan for the animals, six years. I'm the best physical shape of my life. I uh, ran an, a marathon not too long ago uh, without training at all, had no running training just to see if I could test myself, see if the diet was up to it. 
you know, see if I had the mental, physical strength to do it. You know, got through the marathon, even with a bit of knee problems. A week later or 10 days later, I did an ultra marathon, 50 kilometers. Uh, my, you know, I haven't deteriorated. My, I feel, you know, nice and healed. My knee's probably still a little bit sore, but as you would be. Training, building muscle, what's the problem? What's the problem? What's going on with people that are, their health is deteriorating? You know, I think they're doing, they might be doing something wrong. The science is on our side. Uh, the Academy of Nutrition Dietetics peer-reviewed statement backed by 117 studies. Check it out if you haven't checked it out. I'm on the side of evidence and science and, and my own personal story as well. So who, who I was before this, you know, I was on medications for all these mental, you know, health issues and 250 pounds. I'm now about 160 pounds. I've lost 90 pounds, kept it off. 73 kilograms now. So 40, about 40 kilograms, you know, uh, I'm not on any medications. I've dealt with my PTSD from being in the violent world that I was in. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, in the best shape I've ever been in. So six years vegan, I should start, you know, where's this protein deficiency? I should start deteriorating by now. I should have all these health issues. My hair should be falling out. Not at all, not at all. Committed, I'm committed. I'm making sure I'm getting all my nutrients. I'm hitting my vitamin D, B12, uh, omegas, uh, full nutrient spectrum, very easy. I eat lots of oat bran, full of fiber and selenium and all these minerals, going fine. I have my treats every now and then. I keep the animals at the forefront of my focus. I'm an animal rights activist, full time. You know, I, I see the suffering. I see the science going on in the health arena. There is nothing that's gonna sway me from, you know, consuming a whole foods plant-based diet predominantly and for the animals. I think what happened with me is I started consuming a lot more plant foods. I started to feel a lot better and I started to open my, up my mind to compassion. I was, wasn't was stuffing as much blood and guts and violence down into my you know bowels and my stomach wasn't a graveyard for these animals. And you know, it just opened me up. My, my, my mind felt clearer. My mind felt clearer. I could make better decisions. I got sober. You know, it led me into my sobriety. Uh, it was amazing. Every, everything sort of come about from consuming more plant foods. It was, uh, I, you know, that's just my anecdote, my own story. But it really did transform everything for me, just eating healthier, you know, less violence, less cholesterol, less of the junk, and more plant foods. And it led, led me into where I am now. So I, I couldn't be more grateful for being a vegan, being against the exploitation and harm of animals. Being a vegan's got nothing to do with your health. But it's just a bonus, isn't it? It's just a bonus. I'm in good physical shape. I feel good. I can be, you know, in great condition to, to defend the animals. Six year vegan deterioration, not, you know, six year vegan transformation, more like it. And I plan on going for another 60 years, as, as long as I'm alive. Um, you know, the science is on our side. There's nothing swaying me to get back on the eggs or get back on the bacon. Absolute nonsense, all conspiracy theories. I hope this video inspires you. I come from, you know, clinically obese, morbidly obese, mental health issues, depressed. You know, I was one burger away from a bloody heart attack at 25. You know, it wasn't, you know, I wasn't good. I was exuding all this violence. I was ingesting violence and I was exuding violence. I was a violent uh, gang member and, you know, I, I could snap at any minute. Now I'm very you know, cool, calm, collected. You know, I do get a bit fiery sometimes from defending animals from being abused all the time, but for the most part, I'm 95% better than where I was. And here's to, you know, my next vegan anniversary. How long have you guys been vegan in the comment section? I feel very happy about where I've come and, and where I'm gonna go with this. I hope, uh, you know, you are all inspired to stay on uh, this lifestyle, it's very good for emotionally and ethically, better for the environment, obviously. Isn't it amazing that a diet that is good for the animals is also good for your health and it also loves the planet Earth back as well. So thank you all for all your support over these years. I wonder what I can get achieved in the next six years as a vegan see what sort of change we can create. Make sure you keep yourself in good physical shape. It's not very hard, Keep eat a wide variety of whole foods. Make sure you're supplementing with your B12, get your omegas in, lots of greens, lots of starch. Get in the gym, get active, get sunshine, good lifestyle. Do something with purpose in your life. Stay focused on the victims and I'm sure you'll get another six years vegan or another lifetime vegan into you just like I will. All right, I'll see you all in the next video, peace.
Mm. GFC. 